plenty of space on board ship, um, enough for us anyway, because you're out and about all the time. When, you ha when you've had breakfast, you're off. Some early morning starts, some not so early. And yeah, if you want good. to find a quiet spot to read your book or something like that, then there's no problem. Can you can yeah. always can do. I'm well, travelling on my own, it's a last minute idea and it's been absolutely fantastic. There's about 100 people on the ship, lots and lots of couples, most people are travelling with a companion of some sort, but I think people are happy to talk to anybody who's happy to talk to them. And the seating in the, for the meal times is open, you can sit where you want to. People are very good about inviting me to come and join them. And so far, if I wanted to be on my own, I'm on my own with my book. And if I don't want to be on my own, there's an endless choice of people to talk to. The fact that there aren't very many people on it means that there's plenty of space. So it's lovely to have a dining room where everybody can sit and a lounge where everybody can sit at the same time rather than have to sort of half and a half, half of you at one time and half of you another time. We really like the Lido deck, don't we, where you're eating outdoors in the fresh air and there's no queuing at all. It works really well, doesn't it? Yeah. It's very enjoyable. You've got the library and you've got two computers, so if you haven't got your iPad or your computer with you, you can use that for free. And there's a really quite good selection of books and you can sit up there quietly and read. It's very, very impressive. I, I think it's delightful. With it being a small ship, the amount of space is very good um, and we enjoy being out on the various decks and, and we can all sit down together, so it's very well organised and you don't feel at all cramped um, and for an expedition ship I think that must be quite a challenge and they've succeeded with it.